Hi guys, welcome back to Sea Story Cup, and I'm a ninja. And I'm here with Jan Janssen and with Peter Stefanovic. Aloha. AKA hey Gara and Super JJ. So okay, glad to be here, Nims. How do you feel today? Oh, dude, I feel so good. I'm and super hyped. You're super hyped? You just got top 10 legend, is it? Top 20? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with York. With York. With York to it. So to, top 20 or top 10? Uh, it's like rank 11 or something, but it's like these guys are pushing me down very now. If you have like Yagut behind you and Salai, we're just... Yeah, he tells <laughs> you to just go face, play Yog. No, we're just like, come on, one more game. Mr. Yogut. It's like Twitch chat. It is kind of. It is kind of, yeah. And we have the best European Temple Storm player here with us. Sagara, yeah, how are you right. doing? Just chilling. Chilling? Having chilling fun? like a villain. It's good, it's good, man. It's Seed Cup 5, guys. So uh, the match that we are going to see is Ecop versus Nyman. In this, it is a decider. So whoever wins this goes to top 8. Whoever loses uh, is really, really sad by both thumbs. So mm. what did they get banned? So we got a Warlock ban. It's like Nyman banned Ecop's Warlock and Ecop banned Nyman's Warrior. So we have Nyman on Mage, Shaman Warlock, and Ecop on Druid, Shaman Warrior. And uh, that Warlock from Ecop, we haven't seen much of it, uh, because we, did, we don't even know if he plays Doomguards or Leroy, and now the deck is banned. Well, so. look, I see the Leroy. <laughs> is it right? Yeah. This is Nyman's deck, actually, it's not Ecop's. Right. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so we have Dragon Warrior versus Sue. Um, I think I would give, give a slight edge to the Dragon Warrior. Yeah, me too, dude. But I think it's closer than a lot of people think, because there's actually only the Ravaging Ghouls as um, board swipes. Yeah, but you have Fireworks, you have Alex Trezor's Champion, yeah. you have uh, a lot of good stuff in the beginning. But it should be better against the Lyra version, because Doomguard is kind of a big deal. Yeah, I agree. So the edge is definitely on the Ecop side. Yeah, like even on ladder when you play Zoo, you probably play the Doomguard version because it's better versus Warrior. Yeah, a, a bit yeah. better. Yeah, I agree. I feel so as well. But some people even where I played like Doomguard and Leroy, that's something I saw for a while, so... But then the list is a bit different, right? It's more yeah. aggressive with Rough Guards yeah, and yeah, yeah. Chargers. That's true. Um, yeah, I mean, the Warrior doesn't have like the fastest start, but he has a key card, like which is Alex Strasser's champion. But you have to say like the champion is a bit worse against um, tempo decks. I feel it profits like against control decks because it's really hard to deal with two mana, free free and charge. Yeah, true. And Gar, what do you think about uh, Nyman's hand? I mean, he has Alex uh, I mean, Nyman's hand. You have the curve, so that's pretty good. I mean, what you always want against Warrior is the one drop and the three drops. The two drop is not as important because usually, just if the opponent has the weapon, then you just get kind of punished. Ooh. Right? You can miss the two drop, but the game boss is a big deal. I feel like this is a really big deal. This Finlay draw. Yeah, this Finlay is. I mean, he, it contests the. And you get a good hero power. So it's a Dagger Mastery, Shapeshift, and Rainforce. You guys can't see it. We can see it on the different screen. And what do you guys think, Shapeshift? So the biggest tempo hero power in the game is the Dagger Mastery. Like, I think the Rogue hero power here is fine. Okay. Oh, but there's always the Usually risk. you also run the Enzo's first mate, right? So it would be kind of clunky if actually, you run three weapons. Uh, depends. Depends on the build, actually. It's, uh, I think Tempo Storm runs Nizov's first mate, but a lot of people don't. So uh, if you don't have Nizov's first mate in the deck, I guess he a Rogue's hero power is fine because then you have double fire war axe only to um, actually negate the hero power. Oh. And a lot of people don't, land uh, don't run Malkorak as well. Oh. That's there, right? Yeah, it gets much weaker if the opponent has actually a Rogue hero power. Uh, I think you keep that for the war axe. Um, it's actually such a big deal. Like this one free contesting the sergeant just, yeah. You just get board control from that, just charge down into a 2-2, two -two. it's pretty nice. There you can see that how important the free drop is, the gang boss can bring you back. Yeah. Because if you don't have it, it's like almost impossible to come back. The councilman would just be pretty yeah. bad. So it was actually a while pretty dead until gang boss got released with Black Rock Mountain. Yep. Um, so it's actually kind of painful and Ecop didn't really pick up a uh, follow-up. Anything, right? It's just anything would have been good. Even, Even if the coin, like, how rare is it that's a, that the Dragon Warrior has, like, no play for for? It's, mana. like, such a big tempo game for Neyman again. Yep. It's, like, exactly what he needed, like, the gang boss and now two inefficient trades. Like, a Corcoran Elite would have really hit, hurt here. Well, you still have Corruptor in turn four. So, at least uh, you will be able to have a minion. Probably, like, does it really do much? Like, you want a Corruptor, like a Flame Imp or a Dire Wolf, but yeah. you only get, like, a 1 2 here. That Corcoran is, like, one turn too late. Yeah, definitely. It would have been really good. Yeah. 
Um, there you can see the drawback. People are building their Dragon Warriors greedy and greedy and greedy. Like I just saw like Firebats new Dragon Warrior. He plays like Deathwing, Onyxia, and like two like Isera or something. It's still in a tempo deck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah okay. I don't know. I mean, no, 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 it's not a control, right? Because there is also like a control Dragon Warrior with Shibots. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just Tempo Dragon yeah, Warrior. Yeah, it's like the upcoming list. I think it's to beat the mirror, to have like an extra yeah. threat. But who, who can really judge them? Like, Deathring is a really cool Maybe card. Play, right? yeah. play Book Creepers as <laughs> I well. I played in two there. What about like Book Creeper on Tempo? You are, you are lacking seven drops in Tempo Warrior. Mm. Book Creeper, Tempo Warrior. I mean, Gara, can I tell us something about the card? Sweet. Uh, it's 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 box champ for box a reason. Yeah, I like it. Exactly. I like it man. It's so cool. It's good, right? Right? It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. These council man. It's a problem. Like one is already a problem now. <laughs> there are actually two now. And this was supposed to be a good matchup. Like, and there's no brawls. Like, how does a dragon warrior ever come back if you're not uh, playing proactive? I well, mean, you don't. I guess you kill one of the councilmans, but. Now you play catch-up game. And also, like, Ecop's hand is really full of minions, not spells. If you will have, like, a ghoul execute, maybe he will be able to come back. But right now, it's just playing minions without taunt. Like, there is probably Guardian at least with taunt, but... He's basically playing Dragon Rogue here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean... The problem is, like, now this is actually where Zeus shines. Like, he has a lot of tokens on the board, can just do the power whelming on his... Sweet little 1-1 one, one and trade in efficiently. Or you just go face because you just drew Leroy. You can. You have 10 damage next turn, mm -hmm. which means like if you go for face, is it 7, right? 7 this turn. Next turn you have still that 7 on board. There's no way to remove most part of it. Leroy will still buff Councilman, but I cannot blame him for trading into the 5-4. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, yeah, I have the board anyway, so might as well don't give you any chance to interact with it. And yeah. You still should have enough next turn to win with Leroy, right? Because Constable will go to 6, so it's 12, 13. Yeah, there's no armor up for Warrior. Uh, there is this uh, Twilight Guardian that can stall for one turn, but it's not really... Yeah, like, the key would have been stalling into Deathwing, but I don't think Naiman is going to give him that much time. There's not much cards you can actually use to stall for so many turns. Yeah. I mean, it's an aggressive deck. You're not supposed to stall, right? <laughs> Even in this spot, like, the rogue hero power is the worst yeah. one by far. I mean, if you would have picked up a Corcoran, like, a turn early, I would have been totally fine. But that gang boss, like you told, was so good. Yeah, it doesn't really do enough for you. Um, is it actually lethal? I think not yet. Not um, yet, but... Play Leroy, you have four. Oh, now, now it is, probably. That's pretty sweet. I think now it is. It's yeah, 40 now, right? That's definitely here. There you go. Yeah, you even buff your castle on here. Feels good, man. It's over now. So Naiman is going to take this first game versus Ecop, and he struggled versus Eloise Warrior. And Warrior was supposed to be the deck to beat to sweep, but where is that? This last year's standing will not see Warrior from Ecop anymore, and this positions himself really badly in the in the whole matchup. I mean, Naiman probably figured out that Ecop's Warrior is a bit more greedy, so he was not as worried as against Eloise Warrior. Yeah. Yeah, Alois had uh, Nizos first made it, as you mentioned. Uh, yeah, yeah. In the rage, deal. I feel, yeah. So uh, you can you can deal with... Uh, with like, normally, as we mentioned, like this is a good matchup for Dragon Warrior, but now Dragon Warrior is, is dead. So what's left for Ecop? Like, he still has a Druid and a Shaman. Gara, being the best Shaman, what would you pick? I mean, he plays Agro Shaman, so you definitely don't go for that one. Yeah. So he has so no choice. So you go for that Druid and get that juicy Inuit. Yeah, and get that juicy York and win games like and everyone is, else does. And there is a <laughs> special card in his Druid deck that we've seen, right? Uh, have you seen it? I think so, right? Um, has he played? I'm mean, not sure if he played it. Now you confused me. I wanted to like make I, a meme. I know what it. he plays, but has he played <laughs> I also it? Know. Jage, do you know? That boy? Do you know that boy? Do you know that boy? He plays that boy. He plays that boy. He he plays oh, that you know that boy. I know that boy. He I plays that boy. He actually plays he it. He plays that boy, I in think. In York, yeah. Druid. It's actually... <laughs> I mean, it's interesting, but... Oh, shit, what up? Uh, everyone who knows that boy knows what York plays. Uh, what, what I mean, what Twitch chat knows that boy. Okay. All right, everybody knows that boy. If you don't know that boy, you have to Google it, I guess. But uh, do you play Druid or Shaman? I think you just play Druid versus Azure. Like this Shaman against... The Sue is like 40%. Oh, even. but Echo runs double storm, right? In his Argoshan. Oh, he does. Does he? That, yeah, I think he does, actually. Yeah, that's because he liked the, 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 those are the Greek tech. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's actually super interesting. Man. This means like Shaman is probably better than Druid versus Zoo. But it's still a tough matchup. 
Of course. Mm. Well, he has that Argent Squire. I feel like it's pretty key in this matchup in the early game. Would you mm. keep all of it? I might actually just keep that whole Shaman hand. Like, you can keep the Rock Biter if there's, like, a White Walker to block that Argent Squire. Well, he decided to toss the... Tusker? The, the Totem Golem. <laughs> the Totem Golem, the 6-6 six, six <laughs> on turn 3. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so good, yeah. Um, I mean, the Sulok has this one key carry. I feel just like, again, the Im Gang boss is so important to keep. Mm -hmm. It just like trades so valuable into like, even it doesn't get killed by Totem Golem in the first hit or just trade into a Trog and just finish it up with Abusive or something. Yeah, I, I agree with keeping Im Gang boss. But then like you, tr you really want to have one drop, so you probably, what, like you throw away everything else? Mm, yeah, I think the hour card you want now is like a one drop. Plus this villager, abusive. What the use has is like you mulligan for a one drop, and if you have the one drop oh. already, then you can keep the free drop. But keeping just the free drop before yeah. you have the one drop is a probably bit tough. In mm. this matchup, I think like in this matchup, you, you basically need to play something on turn one for sure. That's why he kept the dark peddler as well to be able to coin it out. Yeah, he, he kept the get... peddler, and a lot disagree with that, right? Keeping the problem, like the. Tabler, Peddler is like a 2 2 and is a bit of a tempo loss, so it's not exactly what they're searching for against Agro Shaman. Yeah, but like Shaman can win if he actually steals tempo from you early in the game. So if you miss a one drop, you are in a really bad spot because then if they have the one drop on their own, and if um, if you play it like you play two drop or play three drop with the coin, yeah, you play but catch you up. should get a one drop or a two drop with this deck. Yeah, you should, but sometimes you don't. But it doesn't even run Doomguard, so. Like, he didn't. Look at this. Like, he kept Peddler and he didn't even get that one drop. Mm. But Alchemix well, might actually get some really good value here if he spawns, like, a Flame Tongue or something. Just kill it. Hmm. Now we get for another Peddler to be on board at least. Uh, Ecop will have an option to play Feral Spirit. Easy Coil. I think the Coil is nice here, right? Yeah. Yeah, Coil is probably the best. Corruption, Corruption can answer 7-7 I mean, seven, seven she knows the that the Eco runs double Reef. I mean, I mean, don't really want a Corruption at 7-7 seven, seven because then it's going to connect. It might actually get dangerous. Yeah. I don't well, really like it. Well, the best way to deal with the Sen Sen is PO, but you don't have PO right now. Yeah. So how far do you look into the future? Also, like, it's not even uh, guaranteed that Eco will have a 7-7 seven, seven in turn 4 or 5. Yeah. So... I feel like just the coil is a bit more flexible. Yeah, yeah me too, me too, overall. Just thinking about corruption is... Yeah, awesome. if like if Ekop e doesn't draw the 7-7, uh, the seven, seven, then uh, the Gunfire. corruption is just super bad. So now... Oh, the, that's the, so good that for Ekop. I mean, yeah. You know, that's the best, you know, you toss away the Tusker and then get it back anyways. I mean, Naiman has that totemic counter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dirty stuff happens, you know. I mean, it doesn't feel good to see the flame tongue here from the Tusker, but at least you can just immediately counter it. So you advise Alchemist and uh, Coil? I no, I think. like the Elven Archer. Uh, yeah, I like the body on the board, maybe, but True. You, there's also an argument for keeping the Archer just to maybe get one more juggle out of the juggler. Life juggler, yeah. S rapid fire. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. The yeah, body on the board is, is probably better because you have Dark Alpha, I guess. Man, that Elven Archer. Sick. <laughs> good card. Sick. Guy. Uh, this reminds me of uh, Dreamhack, the first Dreamhack Booker is when Strifecrow uh, played versus Gypsy. Gypsy? And Gypsy actually had it in his deck. Man. And Strifecrow was like, why? Because good old times. Hmm. Was it actually Strifecrow who played against Gypsy? Yeah, Strifecrow played versus Gypsy. Gypsy opened with uh, Godshire Footman and then played Elven Archer into something. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Is that good enough? So where is the corruption now? Right. <laughs> the problem is like actually it's not a seven seven on its own. It's like it's unanswered now. Maybe he could have answered it yet next turn. But now that he will be uh, hide it behind the ferrets and a doomhammer will just pressure after that. Yeah. So you can actually go face with the seven seven. Yeah. And, uh, if you if you connect to face um, again, it's uh, positioning you really well. I think he just wants to maximize his juggles. Yeah. But this is worst case scenario for him, right? This is the ultimate punish. Thinking of trading here, wow. I mean, he's playing around Dire Wolf, which is actually super smart. So trading in the 2-2 two -two here is like actually pretty next level. This still gives him a decent Yeah. Dire I mean, Wolf he's trade. another 7-7 seven -seven the following turn. 
Right, he will be overruled at only for two, so 7-7 seven, seven is the play. I think he can really go for board at this point. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like it actually, like just looking into the future. It's one of the very rare like, scenarios. It's also not only a 7-7, seven, seven because you cannot only use the Doomhammer to just go face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very appealing, but you, I think you can just use it for board control. Well, mm -hmm. the problem with uh, going for face with 7-7 seven, seven was if there is Defender Vargas, right? It just uh, deals with both walls. Yeah, then yeah. You, there are still taunts, and then suddenly you have to trade. Yeah, I do really like this trade. Yeah. It's just like you're trading here, so you get uh, you cash back the damage later on, which is totally fine because your minions actually survive. Yeah. There is no Defender Vargas, there is Dire Wolf that will help to clear one of the wolves. He can clear both, right? He can just have a horse right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, gonna be fine. another 7 7 now. And then yeah. you have Doomhammer. The question is like, what do we wanna do now? Like, you wanna trade again into a Dire Wolf? You just have to trade off on board or just go face here. Yeah, that feels bad, man. Right? Seven damage at this point is huge, right? Yeah, but Direwolf on, on board also is not really nice to have. Yeah, you get probably still punished by an Argus, right? Because he's thinking he's just gonna kill the Direwolf with the Doomhammer next turn. But if it gets buffed to a 3 free, it's kinda awkward. There might be an argument to just juggler abusive and then tentacle and see where the juggles land. Maybe you can deal with both. Yeah, makes sense. You also can go face, and uh, then Ecop will be able to. Like, you will have the board, and if there is no storm, maybe you can actually make a kill in like two turns as well. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Or just at least find like a way to deal with the chant next turn. That's not what you want. Yeah, this is definitely not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, you might just trade the five one into the seven seven, gamble a bit, and just summon three tentacles. Uh, then you might get. Uh, it gives you a higher uh, like, yeah, chance to Maybe hit the just even attack with the 2 1 into the 7 2. Yeah, but then you have a le uh, less chance to just hit it with the juggles. You have juggles for the 7 4. So now you hit, need to hit two, two times. Moves. Yeah, two times into the 7 4, and then you can trade the 2 2. It's a coin flip like we had in Hearthstone. Uh, that's pretty good. Fish. Yeah, that's really good. That was super important. That was perfect. He won the coin okay, flip. Okay, now you just. Okay, it's actually pretty interesting. You must just kill the juggler. It's too much damage. Yeah, and the other one goes face. I think so, right? But Can it even go for board now oh, again? Because I, I don't think Yeah, so. I don't like this this much board approach because yeah. Sue is going to win board. Oh, well, that's oh. gonna hurt. Ouch. For four. Oh, yeah. Do you want to take the free, though? Because you can't do the tentacles into Gormak. Well, you play Flame Imp in Gormak, right? Yeah, do you want to take the free from Flame Imp? I was scared. Um, you, you, you've seen double 7-7, seven, seven. there's only three cards here going to be at 19, it's worth it. so 15. I think you, it's worth it. Because you do four damage, seven and you have a 4-4. Right? There's also one Rock Biter down already, right? Yeah, it's too much damage you deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. lethal setup and everything. Um, yeah, just go for a 2 here, yeah. Yeah, as well. Yeah, just fill up board. Close your eyes. If there is so a you told that the Storm, storm? card is there, right? Storm? It's double Storm. Oh, So it does make... Oh, actually, if we see it like that, like it makes way more sense to go for board when... Yeah, sure. I can see that. No, doesn't it make sense to go face then? Because it was a. Uh, oh, it's, it's just more likely you get the board back with the like with the storm van and just can develop on your own side. Just want to get rid of the sticky, annoying minions like knife juggler. Yeah, yeah, that one for sure. But the abusive that he killed the abusive. Yeah, yeah. I think sure. his only out was to top deck storm basically. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't. So. Huh. He rolled a spell power. Though, does it? Like. That's pretty good. So he can. It's decent. He's not dead on board. Yeah. Mm. So you snipe the 4 4. So 9, you had 4 health, so PO will be lethal. So yeah, he has still no peddlers, but 1 PO, 2 Soulfires, and Leroy. But yeah. now you go for face, right? It doesn't matter if you kill the minions. I mean, you can still theoretically just go for the Lightning Storm out next turn if you're light live here. I don't like this. I don't at like all. going for Like, I. He, Protects, he's strong in a way, but not really. Wow. He, he now he's like uh, dire wolf or something. I mean, the spirit wolves is kind of. Pickup is really out of cards. Uh, this is four six damage, almost there. I mean, if he gets that storm, I think it's still not looking too bad for him. Um, Naiman is running. Leroy. I was casting with e Ekop early and, and we were like joking that Sane was not believing in the heart of the cards. <laughs> Ekop is not believing in the heart of the cards, man. He's gonna top deck Lightning Storm. Wow, okay. He, he 
Yeah, I like this push here. So he sets up if he gets like a Leroy top deck and his board gets cleared. And that's not hard of the cards, Gar. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Just I mean, board, Yugi right? would have gotten. I would have here. Wait, wait. Can we I roll it? two stories. Can roll a taunt here, right? And we're fine. Yeah. Uh, never lucky. Never lucky. Bubble I mean, he was a proud warrior. He fight till the end. The good old Murloc. Let him win, Naiman. I mean, this is what happens when you trade versus Zuri. Right? I mean, he's still not dead, right? Technically. This is hmm. If he draws double square, something like that. What? Yeah. Yeah, because it's like one off. You can have oh, zero. You can. 140 oh. IQ, <laughs> Gnims. How did you, how did you calculate that out so fast? That was really fast, right? Well, and boom. JJ is still counting. <laughs> JJ, is, JJ is still counting. If this is lethal. What? No, I was just. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it, JJ. One, one hero is destroyed. This means lethal. No, I was just sad for a moment. Sad for you. You're sad? No, no, the Murloc is dead, man. No, the Murloc, yeah. Don't kill the Murloc. I'm sad that we didn't get the priest hero. Like, I love the new Murloc hero, but I really want a different priest hero. Why? Why do you not like Anduin? I don't like Anduin. I don't, like, he's Alliance. Kept a pride, I'm Horde. Kept a pride. He's a good boy. He is a cool character, but I just don't like I, him. I don't, I really think it's not cool to bully Anduin here. Like, what would Zedalot say? Uh, I can bully Zedalot and Anduin at the same time. Feels bad, man. I think, I thought you were both Polish. There can be only one Polish. Okay, <laughs> whoa, there we go. <laughs> That's the spirit. All, All right. right. I like the new golden innovate. Yeah, I yeah, like the new animation. Makes like it them. so much more OP, right? What about Void Walker? It's also new. Look at the yeah, Kappa yeah, Pride colors. Yeah. yeah. But what? innovate is so much more it, well, Void Walker also got a new animation. But it's not Kappa Pride, man. He's very manly. He's like the boss. In the yeah, hood. but he gets like the pinkish glow. No, he's just fucking cool. <laughs> All right, I do have to agree. He's fucking. Good. It's not Kappa Price, man. What the fuck? Man, I th oh. I really see like Echo practice through it. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, he should have believed in it, right? Yeah. I would have definitely went for the Druid. Guys, we've seen some sweeps from Druid. Druid did 3-0 before, so Ikab is still not out. He can still fight. I mean, he's not out. Of course, he's not, man. I think Druid is actually one of the strongest tech, if not what, the strongest tech, which is there at the moment. Yeah. It's definitely the MVP of this tournament. Like, we've seen Druid do so much work. It's back. He's back. Mafuren always did it, right? He was always this kind of sweeper deck. Yeah. Yes. I just I just remembered the times when Strifecrow brought uh, Force of Nature Savagery to the tournament for the first time. Everybody was like, what is this? Seems like a good combo. It was a good combo, and we Seems didn't find it before. You might even run. But, but just as a one-off, you know? Just as a one-off. Yeah, just as a one-off in the, in the beginning. And we were like, hmm, that actually, it works, actually. Let's run two of them. Yeah. <laughs> and then everything was ruined. Everything was ruined. The meta game The changed. whole game was ruined since then. Trees everywhere. It's the same with, like, Auctioneer before. That. Auctioneer and Conceal, let's put one in my, on our deck and see how this goes. Maybe good. Maybe not. What? My opponent can't deal with it? Wait. I have all these options now. Yeah, Arsenal is so much fun still after all those years. This actually gets very interesting here. I think Echo has a lot of decisions to make here now. But That's if he takes one wrong step, it might just get out of hand. I like drawing cards and living roots. What do you guys think about this matchup, by the way? I think this matchup sucks for Druid. I mean, if you get the of Inuit. Yeah, and I think what he could do here is like go really a really risky route with just you innovate and nourish for crystals and just remove the board. But okay. when but you don't have any cards left, yeah. Uh, just do you like this? You just get the crystals and ramp into Yogg, right? Yeah. Feels good. I don't like this, man. Why? Like, you can leave the pedal on board. Like, there will always be a stronger minion than the pedal in I the agree. following turns. So you go for the draws now, you have more options in your hand, you can evaluate your future turns. And now he's forced to do the nourish, right? And when you just kill the pedal off yeah. with the swipe and... But the board is not that big now, it's only free damage. But it is a stronger, technically a stronger board than before. And now he's forced to do this. It's, I think it's like a wake-up play. What, do you like play. Nourish last turn? Yeah. With Innervate or...? Yeah, you like to utilize Innervate early. Usually it just sticks in your hand. I don't know if you remember the Frodan game. I mean, it's kind of sad. Like, Living Woods is such a nice tempo card. Now just gonna 2-2. Two -two. Mm. Uh. It might be kind of a problem because... Now Ikob really struggles with removing a board again. Yeah, he would just need to play double Violet Teacher, or do you? I don't know, like, you don't really want to give the suit initiative here on the trades, huh? 
Well, if you get double Valetisha on board, he will have to kind of attack into it. And if he goes for face, that's what? Like seven damage, so you're still in a good position. So well, uh, And you have like a 1-1 one -one as well. What think. about the, the one Valetisha and then this Maya Keeper? Uh, it's a 3-3 three -three and 2-2, two -two, or do you go for mana? I don't think you go mana, right? Yeah, just minions, I think, because you need something to your opponent to trade into. Like you, I think Valetisha is kind of your win condition, right? It is. So you're losing both would kind of... I would like to kill that juggler, though. Yeah. You really don't want to oh, spawn... Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to spawn yeah, one yeah. once. Yeah, yeah, just wrap it. Get them juggled down. It doesn't seem cool, Yeah, man. it doesn't seem <laughs> yeah, cool. That's, that's, you can't just that's get not cool. some new no. students and say, like, hey, <laughs> that, <laughs> get out there. That is definitely not cool, man. And this is awesome. You the like impaling girls? I can't confirm. <laughs> can't deny. <laughs> And maybe I would not say anything. Can't confirm and can't deny at the same time. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty efficient and pretty good impaler. Pretty efficient impaler. It's the best matchup for the impaler, right? The druid. Yeah, yeah I agree. It, it actually, like, it boosts the druid matchup a lot. Yeah. Like, that tempo swing. It's ridiculous. It's like, whoa! Can I play Dark Iron Dwarf instead of Gromach, though, if I don't have Gromach? I like Dark Iron Dwarf. I think overall it's more consistent. Because you don't have to be super ahead on the board. So, while a teacher, Raven Idol, innovate swipe. Is that the turn? Is that the turn? I mean, it's pretty nice since you set some uh, some minions on the uh, one health and you spawn a tokens which can deal with them. Mm -hmm. And also, you play another minion that has almost like a taunt because yeah. while a teacher has to be killed. Mm -hmm. It also sets up, yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it. You're still at 22. Yeah, I can dig it. Like, overall, you try to stall till Yogg-Saron, I guess. <laughs> or that boy. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually... How good funny. is that boy in this matchup? Super good. He's it's, always good. It's, it's the best matchup. It's similar to... Well, you can still kill it like Ancient of War, just attack into it. Yeah, but... You cannot soul fire it. Yeah, you can't soul fire that boy. Whoa. Now we are talking. Now we are talking indeed. In a way, zack, zack, bam, Rah. sick, sick, yeah, yeah. We simply must. We simply must. Yeah, genau. That's how we talk, right? It's just yeah, like it's just the Germans. We we, yeah. we we just we simplified our language that much that everybody can just get it, you know? Yeah. 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 Really, yeah, really, yeah. really simple. <laughs> ich verstehe. <laughs> Bitte schön. Teppich. 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 <laughs> Schnitzel. <laughs> Sehr gutes Schnitzel. Uh. Alright, so Diamond's still in an okay position. Yeah, he finally sort of whiffed. I mean, the problem is that Druid is just getting stronger and stronger every turn. Yeah, and now just needs that boy or Ancient of War and he can almost block the, the board. And now we are getting closer and closer to your extra run. So many spells were cast. Do you refer uh, one to yeah, find that Yeah, boy? I was just thinking about that. He doesn't have a following turn. That yeah. Following turn, that's pretty good. And the boy is really good here. Super good. He's still playing Ancient of War, right? Like yeah. one Ancient of War, one that boy. Yeah. So you definitely oh. refer one. Do you? I think so, yeah. He doesn't have other teachers anymore. Only if you have Fend... I mean, Fender would be pretty optimistic, right, to draw that. Mm. What I wouldn't like to see is a PO here. That's a druid. That really hurts. Yeah, the PO is one of the best cards. Yeah, and he has two, still two left, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, one dark peddler that he can get. Oh, that's really good. Now you can just nice. wolf, abusive coil, coil draw suck, card. Suck. But yeah, now you nice. can, when we are at this point of the match, there you can see how important Doom guards. Or yeah, especially against Druid. Yeah, if you would have a Doomguard now on board, it would be basically GG. But now you always have this like small removable stuff. Uh, he's still doing all right. It all depends what will Ecop draw because. Oh, a swipe! That can be awesome. Starfall. Swipe, swipe top deck. Bro. Starfall is not bad as well. So is what is he getting? He's getting Moonfire, Mark of Your Force of Nature. Combo. Is that Force that bad? Combo. Uh, force probably. Because you will have board, uh, and, you, and you rough the free free. I think you want to get rid of the wolf. Maybe it's like four damage on board. Yeah, but you have rough, right? So you can you can rough the wolf and then yeah, yeah, you need two twos, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like just um, force of nature rough gives you a bit more time. 
There's also an argument for just picking the Moonfire and go for the free, free, the two, two, rough for one Moonfire. Only the Gangbus stays on board, and you're technically ahead on stats. But mm. at the same time, you kind of use all your resources. Yeah, I think I prefer it Force of Nature. If you then. go for Force of Nature, you kind of at least have a minion left. I, in I don't really mind that. He's just removing everything from the board. Ah, uh, okay. Really. Oh, he wants to draw. Interesting. Yeah, he, he feels like when he gets a big taunt, he will be able to defend himself. I or just like needs a Yogg-Saron. I feel like Ekov is just trying to buy time to get the Yogg-Saron. That's yeah. how it feels at the moment. Or, boy. Or, just, he, or just even an Ancient of War, even just... Yeah. Is he playing on Nixia or Scenarios? Uh, I think he's playing Scenarios, right? I'm not sure. Pretty sure he had to cut something for that boy. I would say that Onyxia would be the first Well, you can cut Savage as well. A Feral Rage. I would not advise it, but... I don't think he's going to run three Nine Drops. And York. Well, we've seen Life Coach's deck, who was running a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's a pretty greedy guy, man. Um, so York, zack. Oh, Power of the Wild is kind of like blank now. It doesn't do anything, so yeah, he draws a gun. This is getting super dangerous. Swipe can work, maybe? Oh, oh. Swipe. Okay, now we can just Mulch. trade into the 2-2 two -two Mulch Swipe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And yeah. Kill actually clear the board. But there's no C joints, right? Or where the uh, C joints? I don't think there are C joints. I mean he will have one C joint after the mulch. <laughs> or Deathwing. What if the Sue gets York here? What if oh. Melch gets Sarah? People will definitely see one dead boy after the end of the series. What if Nyman gets that boy for Mulch? Yeah, this is what I just said. Wow. That's not cool, man. Don't joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm, I, we don't want Naiman to win 3-0, right? Let's be in. Yeah, we want Ecop to have a chance. See some more York Druid. Well, today I don't have to be a good girl. That's like... That's what, he sh what, what she says? Yeah. You played the card, actually? I mean, listen. It's from Brave. You watch Brave? Yeah, I've watched it. I thought you should know. Pretty good. I thought you were the role player here. You yeah. should know it. You Not should. when I'm casting with you, JJ. Why? That you are the role player. Feels <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah, the role playing is cool. So Ecop really needs something. This Does board is dangerous. There is a soul fire as well. There's a lot of swipes. That's Azure That's uh, something at least. Um, there's nothing you can clear this board with, right? But he's, he's also not really dead. Oh. That's Ancient of War one turn too late. Can he survive? Still uh, a pretty good draw, to be honest. What, the draw with the war? Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. what else can you... I think it's... York, I guess, would be the best card. Man, I, I would like to see York That's here. 8 plus 8, that's uh, 16, that's yeah, it. That's and it. Nyman is going to the top that's 8. That's the of the Sioux. That's the power of the Sioux, man. Yep. Yes, and Ecop uh, defeated and kicked out today, but uh, he had a good run. He's, <laughs> he's just putting headphones off and on. He's just like confused, man. He just got wrecked so hard. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Nyman has when it. When you try your best and you don't succeed. Yeah, that's Hearthstone, dude. Like, uh, we only had eight spots in the top eight and somehow I had to decide who was yeah. on. Feels bad. Feels bad for Ecop. He was so hyped. He, he did it for Team Anubis, you know? He went far, man. Yeah, Team Anubis. But then Nyman, the guys hugging each other. Oh, Nyman, the winter right. European champion. Let's make some space for Nyman, guys. Come on the couch. Right. Yeah, just Gara, JJ, move, let's move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess we don't have to move. Move back, move back, move back. Come here, Naiman, sit on the couch. Let's come, let's Join come. Join us, family. <laughs> the heart. Cup of pride, man. Naiman, congratulations, you're ended to bait. Thanks. Um, who would you like to thank? Or do you want to thank yourself because you're awesome? Yeah, probably myself. <laughs> All right, good answer, good answer, like it. So, um,. Were you ever worried in this matchup overall? Did, did, was there anything specific? Like, winning versus Warrior was huge. Was there anything else, or was the Warrior um, match the, the, the most important one? The most important match was uh, to win against the Warrior. And after that, I just was really confident in the, in the lineup. And I knew that I'm going to win. Did you, did you know that Ecob is running that boy? That boy? Yeah, who's <laughs> that boy? That was so funny. Song of the Slitherer. We can actually review it now. <laughs> That's so boy? good, man. What is so that boy? Good. Song of nope. the You didn't know? No. Nope. Okay, I'm not even sure if he revealed it. No. Uh, but um, that boy is dead. And um, yeah, you go to the top eight. So do, are you looking forward to any, anyone specific tomorrow? Would you like to 
uh, defeat any specific person? I don't want to, uh, don't want to meet Elise. Okay. That's it. I don't really care whom to, uh, whom to face. Elise seems to have a good matchup against you, right? I mean, like, she's a really... She's a fem female who is good in the game, and I really just admire her. And this is why I don't want to face her in the playoffs. All right. It's not like you're just scared of her defeating yeah. you again. <laughs> okay. All right. Guys, do you have any questions for Naiman? How do you feel, man? You are having a pretty good run lately, winning prelims. It's always nice to win. Yeah? Yep. You feel you can take the title? Mm, I mean, hopefully, but it's going to depend on the York. Feels good, man. <laughs> good, luck to, yeah, good luck to the York. Gara? Right. I like it. I like it. No, it's going to depend on the York. And the, in the York, we trust. I like it. In yeah, the York, we trust. That's the spirit. I okay, hate with Kurt. In the York, we trust. And uh, trust us, trust the York as well. And uh, we actually have matchups for tomorrow. Hey, is it, this is it the last match actually? Yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah. All right, we have the matchups for tomorrow. We have the the weird thing on the screen. So who is playing who? Is it Naiman versus Eloise? Eloise versus Naiman. Life coach. Ta -ta. All right, that's the Yo, first matchup for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good, good, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good matchup. Good yeah, yeah. matchup. Good match. We simply must. Wow, oh, Eloise versus Life coach. I like Ganz gutes match. I don't remember what they play exactly, but it's gonna be awesome. And a long long one for sure. Yeah. Oh, resident sleeper. Okay, so. and we have another matchup, guys. Let's keep it rolling. Praise Yogg Saron. Are you Are versus Hoi Hoi and Thais. Thais. Hoi Sick. Is Whoa, is he that good? Wow. So? Against both? Oh, they are still playing, yeah, so either Hoi or Thais is going to play with that you. good? He's gonna face both of them. He's like, yeah. bring it on. That's incredible that they're still playing. And they did play. And Zolay then versus. Won. Ooh, Akon versus. Naiman. Naiman. Oh, how, do you, how do you feel about the Zalei match? Easy. Uh, even. Should be good. Should be good. Should be good. Yeah. All right. And, uh, it's Jackie Chan. Oskaka oh, versus Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Versus That's going to be rank cool. one legend with. That's going to be a fun uh, one because Oskaka has a pretty, like, he brings pretty um, meta, uh, straight up meta decks. And Jackie Chan brings the crazy ones. Oh, yeah. he's. He has like another crazy deck tomorrow, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. This is a really good top eight. Yeah, yeah. this is an amazing top eight. And uh, we are going to have top eight tomorrow. So, hello, is life coach. Are you Thais or Hoy? Zalei Naiman, Oskaka, Jackie Chan. I wonder who wins Thais uh, versus uh, Hoy. They are playing right now. It's so very international. Very From international. China to uh, NA, everything's represented. I wonder who's winning now. Team Horus or Team Anubis? Yeah, can we pull that up? Um, yeah, maybe in a moment. Uh, you guys are on which teams? Like, Gara, you are... I'm still on Horus. Yours Horus, JJ is Anubis, right? And I'm on your Anubis or Horus? Anubis. Anubis. Yep. Okay, so we have two Horus, two Anubis on the couch. Uh, well, we will see, guys. But I think we can uh, end the day for today. So it was the third day of Seed Story Cup 5. We had tons of fun, great matchups. We've seen Yogg, we've seen different decks. But this is it for today. Tomorrow we have this great top eight. Join us tomorrow, same time, 2 p.m. See you guys and have a good night.